Hello, and welcome to the Texas Department of Transportation online open house for the US-59 upgrade project from Shepard to Cleveland. Thank you for taking the time to join our video presentation. An online open house is intended to share all the materials that were shown at our in-person open house that was held on Tuesday, September 27, 2016. We will be showing you where to access other project materials on our TxDOT website and, most importantly, how you can provide your input and feedback on our website. We will talk you through the exhibit boards that were on display at our in-person open house. But first, we wanted to also show you where you can access these materials. All of this information is accessible on the TxDOT website on the online meetings page. Go to www.txdot.gov and in the upper right corner use a search feature and enter US 59 Shepherd to Cleveland. Once you're on this page, which is pictured here, Scroll down to the Downloads area to see additional resources. Your input is very important to us. Please take a moment and provide us with your input by submitting an online comment form. You can do this by going to the US-59 Shepherd Cleveland project page or to the online meetings notice. You'll see a contact area and an email link near the bottom of the page. Click on the email link that is in the contact section of the page, fill out the form and submit. The Beaumont and Lufkin districts will review every comment. Please note, again, all comments must be received by Friday, October 7, 2016 to be included in the official record as part of this online open house and the public can contact TxDOT at any time with questions. With that, let's review the exhibit boards that were displayed at the in-person open house. The purpose of this project is to improve safety, enhance mobility, and provide a more efficient hurricane evacuation process. TxDOT is also proposing this project to upgrade US-59 to meet interstate standards to provide system connectivity to I-69 in the future. The problems that TxDOT identified included increased traffic congestion, and we would be unable to upgrade this roadway to I-69 standards unless improvements were made to the roadway. Where is this project specifically located? This project is located on US-59 from FM 2914 south of Shepherd in San Jacinto County to the north end of the Cleveland Relief Route in Liberty County. The length of the project is a little over 5 miles. How did this project get started in the first place? Years ago, federal legislation authorized the development of the I-69 system in Texas along specified US routes, including US-59. Using the I-69 Implementation Strategy Report, the Lufkin District has begun efforts to prioritize, coordinate, and manage the development of I-69 in San Jacinto County. The proposed project was selected as the first project in San Jacinto County to develop due to its proximity to the existing interstate and current congestion problems. The Lufkin District has been working in partnership with the Beaumont District given that this project falls under the responsibility of both district areas. Funding for project development activities such as developing the schematic, the environmental process, right-of-way acquisition, etc. has been approved. However, it's important to note that construction funding has not yet been identified at this time. Now that we covered why TxDOT is proposing this project, where the project is located, and we shared some background, let's switch gears and talk about the specifics of the project. TxDOT is proposing to construct new U.S. 59 southbound and northbound main lanes in a southbound frontage road. This would also include a reconstruction of the existing northbound U.S. 59 travel lanes to become the northbound frontage road. And finally, TxDOT is proposing to construct an overpass with U-turns at Sherwood Drive. TxDOT also wants to construct an additional overpass with U-turns approximately 1.7 miles north of the Cleveland Relief Route. Part of the purpose of this project is also to upgrade this segment of US-59 to interstate standards for possible future designation as I-69. The I-69 system is a 1,600-mile national highway connecting Michigan, Indiana, Kentucky, Tennessee, Mississippi, Arkansas, Louisiana, and Texas. It provides access to inland ports and seaports along the Gulf Coast. The map shown here was displayed at the in-person open house and provides a look at the status of the I-69 system in the United States. This helps to provide you with some context of where other states are in the development of I-69. 
You can find more information about the I-69 system in Texas and about this project by visiting the Tex.I-69 Driven by Texans website. So what happens next? Once the official comment period ends, the Lufkin and Beaumont District teams will review all public comments as part of the project evaluation and use it as a guide to continue refining the schematic and begin environmental studies. The development and approval of the schematic and environmental studies are anticipated to be completed in approximately 18 to 24 months. Once TxDOT has received approval of the schematic and the environmental studies, TxDOT will begin right-of-way acquisition process. And again, as we mentioned earlier, construction funding has not been identified for this project. However, TxDOT will continue to work to develop a strategy for funding. We encourage the public to stay informed about the project in the following ways. First, sign up to receive email updates. This online open house web link was featured on the US-59 Shepherd to Cleveland project page. Just scroll to the top of the page and click on the Subscribe to Updates button and enter your information. When there is a project update, an email will be sent to you. You can also stay informed by calling us anytime. The Lufkin District is the main contact for this project, and you can call us anytime at 936-633-4469. And don't forget to click on these links and follow us on Twitter for ongoing road closures and construction updates at either Lufkin or Beaumont Twitter pages. You can also keep with all TxDOT news on our Facebook page. This concludes our online open house presentation. Thank you again, and please drive safely.